Alright, today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing and talk about Transformer cards. This is my favorite car of all time, 97 to 04 C5 Corvette. In my opinion, it's the best looking car ever made. You know, everyone's different. Some people like the super exotics like uh, Diablos and Ferrari F50s, but it's about Corvettes for me. Got really into them when this car came out back in the late 96 year I was still a kid I fell in love with this car then I really got into the Corvette history and that was that been a Corvette fan ever since and just been doing research on them ever since I could talk about Corvettes all day long right now and this video would be 10 hours long but this is it right here dream car I bought this transformer back in 03 when I couldn't afford a Corvette yet so Hasbro, where is it, Hasbro, they remade Transformers back in 03 to like modern cars, see check it out, here's a, here's a WR, WRX Silver Streak, Silver Streak I believe was a Nissan 280 in the cartoon, but it's pretty cool, so that's Silver Streak, I bought this for my friend, because he has one of these Scion XB, this is a remake of Skids, where is it? Right there. Autobot Skids. This one's for you, Gargar75. Look up Skids Generation 1 Transformer. What the fuck kind of car was the original Skids? I'm fucking stumped, man. Was it a real car or was it made up? Because, you know, in Transformers, the original one, cars were like real cars, like 280, Lamborghini Countach, uh, Porsche, Corvettes. So what was the original Skids? I'm like stumped, man, so... Trivia question for you and anyone else who was a Transformer enthusiast, but yeah, there you go. Skids was remade as a XB, Silver Streak was remade into a WRX, and Trax was always a Corvette. So uh, they made him a Corvette again. Trax was a C3 Corvette in the cartoon, so he was remade into a C5. Now we're at the C7, 7th generation Corvette currently. Yeah, I've already opened this up. I'm not going to transform it on this video because it's been like 10 years since I transformed this thing. So I probably forgot how this video will take forever, but I'll relearn it because I'm going to make a video comparing this to the real Z06. See how good they got it. See how detailed they got it, but it looks really good. Right down to the red valve covers right there. So there you go, tracks. This is before Michael Bay got a hold of the Transformers franchise, so they still look like Transformers, the originals, but modernized. And I'm going to say it right now so I could get it, so I could rant a little bit. Armageddon is the worst piece of crap movie i ever seen in my freaking life. Okay, I got that out. So, I ordered Trax, the original, commemorative edition because uh, the original would have cost too much. Ordered this for $30. I had to have it. I had to have it. Because, uh, yeah, I have the remake of tracks, The 03 C5 version. But you gotta, you gotta get the original one, man. So let's see how he looks. Commemorative, commemorative edition tracks right here. Hell yeah. Right there. Awesome, man. So, uh see how it looks. I already messed up the box. It's okay because I'm going to open this anyway. Look at that. C3 Corvette. Third generation. I think the Japanese were confused because Transformers is a Japanese thing. I think they got the Corvette mixed up with the Firebird. <laughs> why the hell does it have a flaming hood decal? I mean, at least it's not the screaming chicken, but why does it have a flame on the hood? So, uh, there you go, man. I don't know, picture of the toy transformed. Oh, there it is. So, right there, if you guys could see it. That's cool, man. That's, that's OG. And here's his son right here. So, you look at the toys, see? Really cool. So, he, the original had the rocket launchers up there. And the new one has a rocket launcher also. So, there you go, man. 
they did a really good job on the remake. And then when you look at um, when you look at skids, the original skids, same concept. The hood is the chest. The doors come out. So yeah, this should have been the Transformers movie right here instead of the Michael Bay stuff. I mean, you know, if you like the Michael Bay stuff, that's okay. But this looks really close to the original, but with modern cars. So. There you go. I'm going to open this up. I don't care. I'm not trying to make money off of it. But uh, there you go. Prowl. That was a... Looks like a 280. I think there was a few 280s. Correct me if I'm wrong. So Red Alert was a Countach. Uh, I don't know what this guy was. Hoist? What kind of truck was Hoist? Pretty cool. This is the This is the official... This is the official commemorative edition. Not knockoffs like my uh, Dinobots I recently unboxed. There you go. A couple Corvettes here. Third generation C3. And C5 Corvette right there. Actually, I got something for you guys. Hold on. Okay, here you go. Michael Bay Transformer right here. Corvette Stingray concept right there. Looks good. I think this is what the new Corvette should have been. Has the split window and everything. But um I think the new Corvette is actually a really nice car. The C7, a lot of people, especially the younger people, seem to love it. And you know, you're reaching out to a new generation, and there's gonna be a new generation of people into Corvettes, which could be a good and bad thing. That's a whole different topic, but it might kill the heritage a little bit and might dilute the brand, but that's my opinion. I'll get more into that later. But a lot of people ask me, what do I think of the new Corvette? I like it. You know, it, it's, it was time to evolve. A lot of people say that, oh, it should have look, it doesn't look like a Corvette anymore, or, you know, it's, it's too dramatically different. Well, when you look at the C4, C5, and C6, they all look very similar, so it was probably time for a dramatic change. If you like how the old Corvettes look more, buy an old one. I'm going to stick to my C5 for the rest of my life. I'm going to, re I'm going to, what's that, uh, represent the C5 generation. I'll probably pick up a C4 co Corvette someday too. But C7 Corvette, I think they're really nice cars. I have no problems with them. They're awesome looking cars. But... I think they should have went with this model. They should have made the new Corvette look like this. Then I would really be into it. And that's why I bought this thing. I was like, fuck, dude. The Corvette should look like that. Oh, well. Wasn't meant to be. I'm always going to love the C5 the most. But uh, next time I talk about Transformers, I'm going to open this up and compare it to the real car. I'll open this one up, too. I'm not trying to make any money. But I'll save that for another video because I don't want to like sit here for 30 minutes trying to figure this out, how to transform it. I'm sure it's easy. This one's actually, this one actually takes like 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. So since I haven't transformed it in a while, it'll probably take me like four hours. All right, everyone, kick ass, be safe, and take it easy.